Meghan Markle and Harry Ultimatum, time to stop talking and start working, expert. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have spoken out on several of causes they wish to focus their new foundation arch Ewell on. One royal expert has claimed the couple will soon reach a point where they need to move away from talking and start working. Meghan Markle, 39, and Prince Harry, 36, have maintained a strong public presence despite stepping away from the royal spotlight. The couple quit their royal family and resettled in the USA in March and in recent months have taken part in a wide range of virtual engagements from their living room in Montecito, Santa Barbara. Last week the couple undertook one of their most notable engagements yet as they co-hosted a talk on engineering a better world for Time Magazine's Time 100 talk series. They were interviewed by Time Magazine's editor-in-chief as part of the appearance and shared their views on social media use, understood to be a key focus of their new non-profit venture ArchUL. An official launch of ArchUL was put on hold due to the COVID-19 pandemic and now seems unlikely to happen. Instead, the Foundation's website went live last week and fans can now find regular updates on Harry and Meghan's work. Key topics Meghan and Harry have touched upon since moving away from the royal bubble include tackling racism, mental health and changing the way people interact on social media. While the couple has carried out some face-to-face -face engagements since their royal step down, most of their meetings have been virtual. One royal expert has claimed the couple will need to act soon to instigate the changes that they have called for on their chosen issues. The Sussexes ruffled some feathers when they urged Americans to vote in the upcoming U.S. election, meddling in politics is usually off-limits for royal family members. However, as non-working royals, they also have more freedom to express their views on controversial topics. Addressing their reception the Sussexes' recent work has received and their future plans, the Telegraph's acting royal editor Victoria Ward wrote, they have been carefully curating this foundation since January when they first landed in North America.